Ooh. Welcome back you guys, hope you're all well. It's Tara and I'm coming to you from a very rainy and dreary New York so I thought what would make me feel better other than putting on a bright top and talking about some makeup. So this happened. I thought I would sit down and do like a first impressions because these are the few makeup videos that I watch these days. I love seeing people try on makeup for the first time, seeing how they get on with it, seeing how easy the product is to use or not easy. And I don't know, I just find them kind of fascinating. So where should we start? I think we'll start with brushes because these were actually kindly sent to me, but they are available exclusively at Space and K as well. And they are the much hyped about Artiste makeup brushes. And yes, the lovely people at Artiste absolutely spoiled me. This was the main brush I was interested in trying, which is the Oval 7 brush. And then they also sent me like a bunch of other small like detail brushes, which I will try and give a go today as well. So I thought I'd show you those first because as you can see, I'm makeup list today and I'm gonna be using them to apply my base. So I am using my number seven Stay Perfect Super Light Water-Based Foundation. And the people at Artiste said only to use half the amount of product I would normally use because the brush does not absorb a lot of the product like other brushes. So I'm just going to do my cheeks and not do my lower cheeks as I usually would. Um, I'm gonna put some on my nose, maybe a little bit on my chin. And let's just do a touch on my forehead because I feel like that always looks a bit red as well. I'm really excited to apply my base with this today. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in Space and K, it's like such a visceral product and you just need to like touch it off of your face and like see how soft it is. So I'm gonna apply it with my foundation now. So they did tell me, I was actually had a chat on the phone with um, Artiste and they kind of just explained like a smoothing motion, like anything that feels kind of natural, whether it be like a stipple or like a smoothing. And it seems to be going down onto my lower cheeks really well and spreading really well. Oh, this feels so soft. It feels really gentle on your skin, which I think is important. To be honest, it doesn't actually feel that weird to use. Maybe it's because I've seen a couple of people use it online now but it's very comfortable it doesn't feel odd it does fit around like the contours of the face really well so i think for a face brush the oval 7 is a really nice size that isn't too large i feel like the makeup is actually sitting into my skin like it doesn't look like it's on top or like there's brush strokes anywhere it's just very natural like i still have the coverage that i want which is sort of a light to medium coverage but it doesn't actually look like there's anything on my skin, which I like. I'm all about anything that makes my skin super, super natural. I was a little bit cheeky and I actually asked Artiste what kind of separated their brushes from the other brushes that are similar to this on the market. And they actually provided me with some interesting facts. One being that they've actually patented this look and this technology in the brush. So other competitors that are sort of copying the same design are actually apparently breaking the law, which I found very interesting. That feeling that you get when you touch this off of your face, that really soft feeling, it's because the very, very tips of the fibers are like microscopically fine. So that gives you kind of like the airbrushed look, the soft finish, and also stops the brush from absorbing um, any of the product, which is great. I'm just using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I believe you can also get at Space NK. This is just one I already had in my collection. So I'm gonna go in with the Elite Circle One Aura Brush, which is a beautiful round tipped brush. And I think this would be perfect for inner corners. So I'm gonna kind of lightly use this to kind of get into the real like nooks and crannies of my eyes. Ooh, it's getting my tear duct really well, I have to say. That's the one area I find quite difficult to do with a sponge sometimes because it's so big. So that's fitting in there really nicely. And I'm probably gonna blend out like most of my concealer with the bigger brush. So I'm just gonna use this for the crevices. And then I think for the rest, I'm just gonna use the big oval seven again to kind of stipple that all in and hopefully get a maximum coverage. I really like it. I really, really like the finish of that. Now to sculpt this moon face, I'm trying the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder, which I've heard a lot about over the last couple of years. And I believe I got the shade medium because the next one looked very, very dark. But then this one looked very, very light in the pan. So it's a very cute sort of 
pop open packaging which I like I've already dipped my fingernail in it and ruined it but it's a very nice gray toned shade so I think it'll be perfect for contour I'm not going to use the artiste brushes because I'm not quite co that confident with them yet so I'm just going to use a nice Sigma fluffy brush I think this is an F23 and I have been leaning a lot towards powder contour lately. I feel like powder always works better for me in the winter. I don't know about you, but that looks like instant cheekbone to me. I'm really happy I went with the medium shade. Boom! Sculpted, I like it. I think this is definitely going to be the new contour that I reach for. Good job, Kevin O'Quan. I've also been eyeing up a number of things from Hourglass for a while. Ambient Lighting Bronzer. And everyone kind of describes these as giving a really luminous finish to the skin and making your skin look very, very healthy. So coming into summer and kind of getting into that bronzy mood now, I decided to pick up this and it's basically a bronzer with a bit of a shimmer in it. There's some kind of like champagne-ness going on rippled through there. So while I was looking at the bronzer, I also spotted the blusher. And like, do you ever see those girls with those really beautiful kind of blush colors mixed in with their bronzer? But it all kind of looks like one. I thought that this blush would go perfect with that. And again, it looks super pretty. It's called Mood Exposure and it's a lighting blush. It's like a dusky, rosy, slightly plummy colour. Oh, I have a feeling today is all about that glow. So I'm going to take the same brush that I used to contour with and apply some of the bronzer. Okay, I probably used a little bit too much. It seems to be very, like, slightly fallouty. So I'm just going to tap off the excess. And... Ooh, there's definitely a lot more warmth to this. It's definitely more of a bronzer, for sure. Put a little bit on my nose as well. I have to say the payoff on these is amazing. Like it's very, very blendable, but you know, you feel like you're actually applying something and it's showing up nicely. I'm gonna take a tweensy, tweensy bit of the mood exposure, like not much at all, and just see if I can layer a little bit on top. So far, I'm super impressed with the powder products from Kevin O'Quan and Hourglass. I just feel like what you pay for is what you get with these. I haven't obviously tested them outside in the real world yet, but in terms of pigment and blendability, they're all layering up beautifully. They all applied beautifully, especially on my dry skin. So I've gone away and done my eyebrows, like fluffed them up, filled them in a little bit, and also filled in my lips. Just to move on to the next part, which is these two products from By Terry. These are obviously eye products, and they're the Ombre Black Star. Color Fix Cream Eyeshadows. So I believe these are kind of like eye crayons. Yeah, they're kind of like rounded smudge sticks, I guess. These are from By Terry. One of them is a bit of a risk. It's called Velvet Orchid, I believe. So it's a beautiful, ooh, it's a beautiful deep, deep purple color. And they do say that purple complements brown eyes. I've yet to find a purple that like doesn't look weird. So I'm hoping that that will look nice, maybe, I don't know. I have never used these before on my actual eyes. So we'll see how we get on. But this shade, I know I will love. And this shade is called Bronze Moon. Bronze Moon, how delicious. So yeah, this one is just a golden bronzy color. I think it will go nice with my top today. I'm gonna go right in. Okay, first impressions, super creamy. I'm barely, barely tugging on my eye. And the product is just rolling straight off. So I'm gonna go a little bit above the crease and let's use the Artis Oval 3. This is um, a nice fluffy oval brush and I think it will be perfect for the crease. Okay, that's blending up pretty well. Ooh, I love the shimmer in these. They're really, really metallic but rich at the same time. There you have it, there it is with some mascara on. I look a little bit more normal now, but I'm really happy with how the products look. I think they give my skin like a really luminous effect and I think this is a really 
bronzy beachy type look that would be great for like an evening on holiday coming up to the summer this is sort of the kind of makeup I like all the time so that's just normal for me but I love the eyes I feel like they're really making my brown eyes pop which is kind of hard to do when you got boring brown eyes and then the last couple of bits are obviously not makeup related they are from the brand which makes my hair tappy dip teak I don't know what it is about that brand but when I see something from them sitting in my home it just makes me feel really nice it's just like that extra treat you know so I got a couple of bits that I liked last time so I got them again so this is the mimosa candle before I got the little one I liked it so much that I up bumped it up to the large size so this is the what size is this, this is the 190 gram diptyque candle I think when you get older you start to appreciate things like expensive candles like a little bit more so this is what they look like if you've never seen them before oh, this is the mimosa scent obviously this is my favorite scent actually I find the other ones a little bit too strong they're very like love or hate scents and the mimosa for me is one that I feel like everyone likes and what I love about them is that they leave a scent in your home even when they're not burning so I'll keep this for like a month or two before I even burn it just because it just gives off a beautiful scent and a good candle will do that it will just add an aroma to a room without even having to burn it so I love them I think they sit beautifully on my little windowsill and then this is one that I've had for ages and it ran out so long ago I don't even know if they sell 34 anymore but it's the the perfume interior their interior scent and this is just like a room spray so this time around it's the Bays fragrance and I think that's how you say it yeah it looks completely different it's a clear bottle I can already smell it oh it smells so good I've been dying to open all this stuff and I finally get to use it but this is kind of more of a floral fresh scent I would describe it as again super pleasant not too not too harsh of a scent and this is kind of like spring to me. It smells like spring. So those were all my new bits from Space NK. I hope you enjoyed watching me try them out. I'm so happy that all of them are products that I love so far and that have lived up to my mental hype because I was waiting a long time to try out these products. Artis have actually given me the opportunity to give away one of the Oval 7 brushes, which is the one I use to apply my base. I feel like this is the most coveted brush from the whole collection. So I asked them, could we do a giveaway? And they kindly said yes. So head on over to my Instagram giveaway post if you want to enter. I feel like that's, I don't know, I haven't done an Instagram giveaway in a really long time and it's just easier for me to keep track of you guys there. I'll have a little link in the description bar below if you want to enter the giveaway. And it's just a little thank you for watching the video. I'd love to know your thoughts on this video. As always, you can leave them in the comments or use the thumbs up or dislike button to let me know if you want to see more beauty on this channel. I think it's something you guys have been craving. I haven't been talking too much beauty lately and you're really keen to see what I've been using. So I hope you enjoy this one don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more i'll catch you all in the next video